Okay, uh, day 161, uh, part four. And uh, so there's some, some talk going around that uh, Michael Flynn is Q and there's a big constitutional crisis, Fourth Amendment, et cetera, dossiers on people, terrorism watch list, et cetera, et cetera. If you remember about a year ago, I did a, a whole bunch on Amy Rayo. Not Rayo Abbas, but Amy Rayo, Archive Solutions. She was the campaign director for Hillary for America. Really good friends with Eric Schmidt. Um, and is was Alphabet the rinse for all this uh, DOD collection, your all your social profiles and so forth, in order to be annotated by other analysts like Booz Allen and other um, third parties, Five Eyes contractors potentially, uh, all over the world because I guess now, you know, if you're GCHQ, you can deputize, you know, all PAC ISI to sit in Fort Meade and, you know, have, you know, deep dive capability on anybody in America. Is there a deplorables list? Is that what the September 11th meeting was with Hillary about with Michael Flynn, Chertoff and Clapper? Is this kind of a uh, life disruption campaign? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, scars. Um, Think Clockwork Orange. Anytime I cough, Clockwork Orange. Anytime you see this, you think X Star. You think Channel Logistics. You think Space Eyes. Um, so is that what that was about? Who knows? Uh, but there is a thing, a lot of going around about Robert O'Neill Forum, uh, Highland Forum. This kind of Washington D.C. with you know Silicon Valley partnerships. I saw a lot. You know, I saw John Doerr's name come out. I saw, you know, Mark Andreessen's name with the hedge funds. I saw. Oh, gosh, Andy Beckelsheim uh, at Sun, Bill Joy with Aspen Group. I saw a lot of stuff at Yahoo with co-founders at Yahoo of people coming in, lots of entrepreneurs showing technology, and all of a sudden it would end up in Yahoo's products or whoever's products uh, with the you know original inventors kind of out in the cold, kind of like the Dennis Montgomery story with Clapper and Brennan with the hammer computer, you know, breaking all of uh, zillions as they say, of sons uh, of um, Trump's conversations. So is this going to be the constitutional crisis thing that Q's talking about? Is, is Flan really Q? It's hard to say, but it, it kind of makes sense because this was a unprecedented use of technology to dossier uh, America. Uh, it's not just Trump. It's, it's journalists like me. It's people who are competitors to people on your gift list. You go after them, they're on the hate list, you give all their assets, you take your percentage, but you give the assets to those people. And it's basically pay for play, but weapon, pay for play for weaponized surveillance and weaponized, uh, uh, weaponized disruption and weaponized uh, compromise.